all right so this is more of a public awareness and also a concern that uh, might need to be addressed by those people who make driverless cars if they could um, address this issue um, unfortunately I don't have the funds otherwise I'll be in a laboratory somewhere trying to come up with a solution but uh, if I just raise this awareness maybe the manufacturers of driverless cars might uh, work on the issue and to make cars more safer out on the road if they haven't done so already so the story comes from March the 20th last year it was about an event where um, Uber halted self-driving car tests after a death uh, now obviously uh, what happened some a woman got killed uh, may she rest in peace and uh, it's obviously these cars are highly advanced and there's no reason why they should do these things but I found a reason yeah um, so this happened in Tempe uh, Arizona yeah uh, basically they're saying uh, the incident happened Sunday night Sunday so uh, Sunday previous to the 20th uh, of March was the 18th of March now on the 18th of March what we found if we look at the KP index uh, this is related to the uh, corona mass ejection we find that on the 18th of March which was the Sunday it reached a 6 now when the KP in index reaches that kind of value everything that's computerized and it's electronically based will start to glitch yeah I don't know if these manufacturers of these things have considered the fact that whenever there's a corona mass ejection uh, anything that's electronically made will start to glitch I do not know if they've considered that and there's nothing we can do about it that's why when you watch the film Matrix they always point out that somebody scorched the sky and they don't know how it was done they don't know how it was done because no one has the technology to scorch the sky otherwise they would have given that as the reason until we scorch the sky <coughs> we cannot up stop coronal mass ejections from affecting the geomagnetic field to cause glitches in anything electronic that we make normally when it goes red over five it means that uh, your computers uh, satellites everything starts to glitch now surprise surprise uh, this happened around 2100 to 0 hundred hours UTC universal time um, so if we look at uh, the conversion um, London is at UTC at the moment um, uh, it's around that time when, so it's a seven hour difference so seven hour difference from there uh, takes it from anything from what is it uh, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, so around that time all electronic devices electronically operated devices uh, would have become glitchy yeah and surprise surprise yeah on that Sunday this car glitched yeah the accident happened Sunday night while the car while the car was in autonomous mode the human monitor was also behind uh, the wheel so they switched it on uh, around that time and they never bore in mind that there was a corona mass ejection kp6 maybe they should design them uh, which puts on a monitor and that puts on a monitor and um, whenever this happens whenever this is detected they switch them off yeah we don't know um, for how long for uh, but they should switch them off for a little bit whenever that happens maybe that's the solution so this is a public awareness I just wanted to point that off I don't know if they've started doing that but I think whenever there's KP uh, 50 pluses that have hit the planet they should switch switch those driverless cars off um, you don't need to hold uh, to hold it 
uh, the whole operation. It's a good idea. But I'm just saying, because we haven't scorched the sky, yeah, uh, there's no matrix we're going to build on Earth that, that's going to work because of that. Because Amunra, <laughs> Amunra <laughs> is going to react. <laughs> that's what I wanted to add.